This video demonstrates the use of phaco probe as a phragmatome in the management of dropped nucleus. Cataract surgery has come a long way with the use of phaco emulsification, making the surgery more efficient and safe. However, surgery related complications like nucleus drop may happen sometimes. This patient presented with total hypomature cataract and was taken up for topical phaco emulsification. Brilliant blue dye was injected and capsular excess was initiated. The surgeon used the excess forcep but the excess extended. Phaco emulsification was started with a good direct chop. However, the tear extended posteriorly and resulted in a nucleus drop. A similar case with total cataract, routine steps were performed with a good capsular excess. During hydro dissection, you can note a pupil snap which indicates a posterior capsular bend. However, the surgeon proceeded with the surgery and the inevitable happened, resulting in a nucleus drop. In such cases, a vitreoretinal surgeon is called for who usually manages the case with the help of a phragmatome. But the phragmatome costs around 1,75,000 rupees. So is a phragmatome tip different from a phaco tip? We found it to be the same. Now coming to the management of the cases. 3, 4, 23 cause sclerotomies were done. The cortex was cleared. Vitrectomy was started. PVD was induced. PFCL was injected over the posterior pole to protect the macula. Now the same phaco probe was used by re uh, removing the sleeve of the tip and disconnecting the irrigating line. One of the sclerotomies was enlarged with a MVR knife for the passage of the phaco tip. The nucleus was emulsified in the vitreous cavity with the phaco tip. Vitrector was used to take care of the smaller pieces. PFCL was aspirated. A three piece foldable intraocular lens was placed in the sulcus. The sclerotomy site was sutured and the case closed. Similar steps were performed for the other piece. In this case, triamcinolone acetate was used to stain the vitreous. Now again the same phaco tip was used to emulsify the nucleus in the vitreous cavity.
the corneal tunnel was enlarged and a three piece rigid lens was placed in the sulcus thus using a same phaco handpiece instead of a phragmatome is a simple safe and cost effective technique